morning, guys. Just uh, returning from delivering my son to the ski hill. It's uh, minus 18. We have 5.5 kilometers left for this round trip. I thought I would share a little bit of it with you. sliding it starts to manipulate the ABS to correct for the slide just kind of neat I was sliding the other day <clears throat> and I thought oh let's see what happens and all of a sudden the stability control kicked in so I didn't get to slide it around the corner <clears throat> normally when I come down this hill I shift into L to help slow it down and regen but uh, because I'm Doing the camera, I'll just uh, use the brake. Big bump in the road here, so we'll move over so we don't hit it so hard. You can see uh, quite a bit of uh, climate control has been used, the purple on the circle basically cuts your range in half so it's not that cold weather affects the distance that the battery can get you it's that maintaining the cabin at a decent temperature takes a lot of energy so in other words if this was the summertime and it was 15 degrees outside Celsius I would probably get twice the mileage that I get in the winter time uh, because the air conditioning or not using the climate control uh, would allow the battery to give that much more to the range of the vehicle. I was trying to explain that to somebody the other night. It's not that your range gets cut in half by the winter temperatures, it's that so much energy is used to run the climate control and hey, when it's minus 18 and the wind chill is minus 30, you need climate control. So this morning when I left, I had about uh, 66 kilometers on the, the gong. <clears throat> so I can imagine that uh, if you take the climate control out of the equation, you can uh, almost double that which would, is what we get in the summertime, about 120 to 130 on average. So as you can see, we're getting pretty close to the end of the battery here, but I only have about two kilometers to go. Soon we'll get the uh, charge vehicle soon warning, and then uh, I don't think that we'll get the propulsion reduced had that happen last night but it only happened at about seven kilometers so I don't think we'll end up having that today on this run I had to turn the fan down a bit uh, so that you guys can hear me um, and you can see that uh, things are getting a little foggy in here Apologies for the camera work. This is a very bumpy road.
is blinking nine kilometers left but we're just a few hundred feet away from where we're going so charge vehicle soon at nine kilometers I think it's seven for the power reduction warning We made it. It's not going to be as fun when I get a car that uh, gets 400 kilometers. I won't uh, won't be able to play this. Is are we going to make a game? It truly really adds to uh, the driving of an electric car. To be honest with you, makes it uh, not like driving a gas car. Could have taken that this morning, but that would be too easy. <laughs> anyway, so what are we looking at here? Uh, so, uh, eight kilometers left, seven men, max 10. So the 30 kilowatts, it obviously didn't charge completely overnight. Uh, here at the cottage we have 110, so uh, no 240 to charge it. Uh, so uh, with the temperatures last night of uh, minus 20 uh, below or more, um, I guess, uh, well, I had to go pick them up at 1030 last night, so didn't really have time. It's 7 something right now. We left around 706. So uh, because it didn't full charge, you know, uh, it doesn't reset the energy used. So that's not very accurate. Um, but yeah, 34% for climate and uh, six for battery conditioning. So uh, you can see, so 55% was used for the trip. So yeah, if it was summertime, I'd still have, so the capacity of the battery is still roughly the same in the winter time it's just that the climate settings take away a lot of your range anyway hope this makes sense and uh, we'll talk to you soon